has really dragged on. We're expecting an update from official Lillery any minute now. ABC 7 News reporter Unser Hassan is there and joins us live with the very latest on this. Unser? Dan and Alan, good evening. You can see this road is still closed. The investigation is still ongoing. Residents still not allowed to return home. We're being told that half of the 1,000 bottles of chemicals that they found have been moved. Some good news. Residents who live on nearby streets, they are being allowed to return home. This is really unprecedented, seeing chemicals that seem to be hoarded over a nearly 50-year period in a shed in this individual's backyard. Contra Costa County Supervisor John Joya says over 1,000 bottles of mostly illegal chemicals were found at a house in this San Pablo neighborhood. The man who allegedly lived here was in his 80s. He died a few months ago. His brother came by to clean up the property. There's been some speculation in talking uh, to the brother or others that he may have been a chemistry professor, but that hasn't been confirmed. Law enforcement got a call on Wednesday of a gas leak. That led to a neighborhood-wide evacuation of close to 150 homes. Types of hazardous materials are e extensive, really, to, to put it um, plainly. Uh, they, they range up and down our classes of what we consider hazardous materials, explosives, flammables, oxidizers, things of that nature. Captain Chris Toller with the Contra Costa County Fire Protection District says they still haven't been able to determine all the chemicals that were found, but they say many were illegally stored and that some are motion and light sensitive. And what that means is if light hits that particular product or that particular liquid, it could cause a chemical reaction. And due to the improper storage, we have a lot of different chemicals stored together. We did not expect a chemistry teacher to have a shed full of chemicals. Denny Kenfong Thong came to check on his parents' house before he brings them home. Feels good at the same time. I wish we kind of got like uh, information sooner or at least text it to us because I actually didn't know there was like a whole evacuation happening until I got a group message from co-workers about the incident. San Pablo police believe the chemicals have been stored at the house for years. Based on the degradation of the boxes and the, uh, the way it was stored, it was a significant amount of time up to uh, uh, years even. Police say one reason this investigation is taking so long is because they, has, they have to identify the chemicals and then dispose of them accordingly. Now police are about to hold the news conference, we'll listen in and bring you any updates that are made available. Reporting live on San Hassan, ABC 7 News.